Welcome, welcome. Enter, my dear. Just please take your shoes off first because they're dirty and I just cleaned the house using magic. Anyway, I hope you can get comfortable and no, don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. Well, unless you have very nice breasts. In which case I, I might touch them, but that's beside the point. Today I'm here to share with you some tricks and treats that I have found throughout the month of October. For this is the Halloween edition of Dumpster Diving for Gold! Gotcha! Did I getcha? Well, I bet I did because that was a crazy disguise. Like, you couldn't even tell it was me under there. Uh, I didn't even know it was me. I thought I was another person for a second. I was possessed! So, as I just said in character, this is the Halloween edition of Dumpster Diving for Gold. And these are all the fun things that I have found throughout the month of October. All of which are spooky dooky Halloween related. As in they're horror and or Halloween related. Um, so, I'm going to get going right now because I've already wasted all your time being an asshole. So, let's get it going. See, first up I got a nice little VHS tape release. Or a VHS tape of... Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious. And uh, this tape is in really nice condition. I found this at the Goodwill. It looks very nice. The box got a little bit of curling at the top and all that, but otherwise it's in good shape. 99 cents. Next up I have the a VHS release of Slaughter High, which is a mediocre slasher film. I think it's all right. Um, you know, probably like middle of the road, if not lower of the road. Does that make any sense? Lower of the road. But, you know, whatever. I, I like it enough to where I don't mind owning it on VHS. And it's a pretty cool find, I think. Another 99 center. And another Goodwiller. In fact, I'll just say right here that everything I found is from Goodwill. Because Goodwill has been treating me quite nicely lately. It's stopped being abusive is what I really mean by that statement. Anyway, the next tape I'm going to share is a... Paramount home video release of one of my favorite slasher films that is My Bloody Valentine directed by Canadians and starring Canadians what the hell that's crazy but yes I was really thrilled to find this one because I love this film and uh it's really cool to find stuff that you love on VHS isn't it um <laughs> moving forward the next one I found is an NBC home entertainment release of a Slumber Party Massacre, another slasher that I quite enjoy. In fact, I enjoy the entire trilogy. Um, this was another dollar, dollar find. And uh, as excited as I am to find this tape, because it's just it's a, a cool find, it's a little unfortunate that the box is completely cut to shit, as you can see. It's cut the top and the side is cut too. So, But, you know, it's still a good find. It was a dollar. And that's a great that's a great deal, considering it was at one time $59.95. <laughs> For this tape, so it's always amazing when you see that sticker on there. Um, that's not even a sticker; that's actually on the tape, on the tape itself, on the uh, the artwork. Um, next up, I have a Video Treasures release of The Curse, starring Will Wheaton, and uh, this was actually a very awesome find because I have not seen this movie in many, 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 many years. And uh, I actually just rewatched it the other night. I popped it in and, and gave it a watch, and this, it's it's a it's an absolute blast. Like I had such a fun time watching. It's such a bizarre, strange film. It kind of reminds me of like a weird like like a, like like the original like Troll. For some reason, just the oddness of it and just some really weird shit happens. But it's fun. It's got like a spookiness to it. Like if I like you know like th there's a reason why I always remember this movie and like movies like this that's they like, leave an impact on you because there's something kind of about that's so odd and spooky. That, you know, I mean, it's cheesy for sure at moments, but it's definitely a cool, cool little flick, and I'm glad to find it, and it's in really good shape, and hey, 99 cents. Um, no, I'm jabbering. The last VHS tape I have is a clamshell Warner Home video release of Stephen King's Cujo, which is another great film, I believe, in my personal opinion. Um, great movie, and, uh, you know, I'm really thrilled to find a nice clamshell of this, because I don't find a lot of clamshells out here. 
or just, I don't know, in general, like, wherever I look, it's pretty much every clamshell I see is going to be a Disney release, which, is, I mean, that's all you see, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. So whenever I can find something like this, I'm very happy. Um, moving forward to something that's a little more Halloween-related, this is a record I found also at the Goodwill. Um, and this is Chilling Thrilling Sounds of the Haunted House. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I said this is a Disney release or not, but yes, it's a Disney release. And it's, uh, I was really happy to find this. This was $1.99, which I think is an awesome price. And uh, I believe this was uh, uh, recorded in 1964, and it was released in 1964, but this release is from, like, I thought the 70s, but I guess not. It says 64, so I'm going to assume it's 64. Whatever, I'm just jabbering now. Anyways, uh, this is a cool record, and one of the cooler things about it is it has these fun, uh, on the actual slips, on the sleeve on the inside, it has these uh, spooky party hints, and then on the other side are spooky party games. So I thought that was kind of fun. The record could be in better shape. It's a little scratched up looking, but, I mean, for the price, it's, I, I, can't, I don't think you can go wrong. And this is the kind of stuff I love to find and I love to buy. Anything that's, like, old Halloween or old, like, you know, kind of retro style um, horror stuff, I think it's a lot of fun, especially, like, when it's, like, you know, costumes or, you know, haunted house and things like that, like books, you know, whatever. Um, the last thing I found, and is definitely my favorite, um was uh one i just as soon as i saw it, i was like holy shit i can't believe that's here um because i live for these kind of things it's a freddy krueger makeup kit and this makeup kit is just awesome and it only cost me one dollar and uh this was released i can't read it it's uh it was released in 1988 so it's a pretty older makeup kit now i'm sure you can probably find it if you looked on the internet but um i thought this was really cool i love this kind of stuff and, uh, I mean, the box is a little beat up. It's, it's been opened, but everything is inside, all the materials that I can actually go ahead and use to make myself look like that scary Freddy Krueger guy right there because he looks mad legitimate. Um, but, yeah, this is really neat because, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I love this kind of stuff, and it goes perfectly with uh, my old Freddy, or my other Freddy Krueger kit that came out in, I think, the mid-'90s. I'd have to look at the date, but I'm showing it to you right now. Um, this one came out in... That's a boring video. I'm going to stop looking. Anyway, so yeah, now they, now they have, uh, the two of them can sit next to each other on my, uh, my bookshelf in the, uh, in my, uh, office there. And that about does it this time around. Thank you so much to everyone for watching this fantastic video. And, uh, also thank you to everyone who's been reading the blog, uh, during Chucktober and leaving comments. It's, it's, obviously it's one of my favorite times of year. And, uh, Chucktober is one of my favorite things to do during October. So... You know, it's also great to see, you know, so many familiar faces coming back and leaving comments and seeing some new ones, too. So I really appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing out the month strong, and I hope you are there to celebrate Halloween with me, even if it's just in spirit. Amen. See you later.